Well, what we're going to talk about now uh, on the 2019 Fish Pro is um, a fault that came up when I was riding today after it had been to the service shop to replace a wiring harness due to uh, some corrosion that happened uh, in the um, wiring harness that went back to the um, intelligent braking and reverse system. Uh, when I got it back from the shop, I needed to take it out to see if the IBR worked and it seemed to work okay, but I was on the water for about five minutes and some beeping went off. At first I thought, oh my goodness, you know, maybe it's my watch or something like that, but uh, <clears throat> it happened again and I looked down and the, and the engine light was on. And I'll show you what that looks like now. So turning the ski off, that engine light stays on. It's like, what the heck is that? So I go ahead and I go on back to the back to shore. It seemed to operate okay, but every once in a while I'd have a beep and that and that light would come on. On checking things to try and find out about that, uh, one of the manuals says that uh, it's a fault code for something. And to try and figure out what it is, I looked around on the web and I really didn't find much. Well, one of the folks on the SeaDo forum was good enough to show me that um, in order to access the fault codes on uh, on the Fish Pro, you need to look in the Fish Pro operator's manual, not the shop manual. The shop manual doesn't tell you how to do it. It's in the operator's manual uh, itself that shows you where the fault codes are. So the way you op the way you access the fault codes. Is you press the right arrow button on the on my 2019 Fish Pro settings, hit OK, and then the codes come up. And if you continue to press OK, the code is P2080. And if you look at that code, if you look it up in the book or online, it says that P2080 is the exhaust gas temperature sensor. That's probably that's that's related to that. So I look up in the book to find out to find out where is the exhaust uh, gauge, exhaust gas temperature <laughs> sensor, and uh, so I look in the back, <clears throat> over in the back, and I find that the exhaust gas temperature sensor is down over in this area. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> what I find, and the reason I'm not showing it to you now is because I want to show you what I found when I looked down in there. Here's the exhaust gas temperature sensor right here. And then right here, this is what I find after it's just come back from the shop to replace this part of the wiring harness that goes to this IBR module here. So in order to, to get to that, they obviously had to take this off and this was removed, but it really wasn't installed. And of course, the exhaust gas tem temperature sensor is going nuts because the exhaust gas is coming out here and hitting on the sensor itself and so it's showing a malfunction. So I don't know what to say. I thought things were reputable and that sort of thing but it's really disappointing that you have to check everything when it comes back from the shop. And this shop wasn't a shade tree mechanic or anything like that. This shop was a regular shop that sells sea dews and Honda motorcycles and, and works on watercraft and everything. Another thing that I found after they replaced the wiring harness was that this part of the wiring harness, these screws, were loose. I was doing some stuff, as I showed in another video, to put in my, uh, my uh, battery tender cabling, and I found that these were loose, and it's like, what the heck is that? So who knows what else is loose, what else hasn't been connected, and that sort of thing. But I'm going to connect this back up, and I'm uh, pretty confident that what I'm going to find is that the exhaust gas temperature fault is not going to be thrown anymore. So that's just a little bit of information on um, how to read your fault codes and also more important how to access your fault codes on a Sea-Doo 2019 Fish Pro and likely all the other uh, Fish Pros. A lot of times on the web you see that you're supposed to press a set button and of course a, you're supposed to do a set and a mode button and of course on the fish throw it has a mode but there's no set button there's an okay button and if you read the instructions for 
checking fault codes on a Fortec engine, it says press the, press the set button. So you think, well, I'm going to press the OK button, but that isn't the way to do it. You press this right arrow button to access the settings, and then you press the OK, and then it will show you um, the various settings you can have. You'll hit the codes, and you hit OK, and then it will show you the code, the fault code um, that was just active. Apparently, if there's other fault codes, I guess it'll scroll through a list or something like that. But uh, luckily, it looks like I only have that fault code. So I'm going to go ahead and connect up the uh, hose clamp, and hopefully that'll take care of the problem. Another day in the life of a Sea-Doo owner. But it keeps me off the streets and makes things fun, makes things fun right? GoPro, stop video.